cornbread dressing is a classic southern side dish. If you're looking for a clear, easy recipe that makes a small portion, keep watching. The first step is to make a stock by boiling a large chicken leg quarter with garlic, onion, celery, and carrot. Cover with water, add a quarter teaspoon each of salt and pepper, and turn on high to bring to a roaring boil. Once it comes to a boil, turn down to medium heat, gas mark 3 out of 6, and boil for 2 hours. After 2 hours, the chicken will have fallen apart on its own. After removing the meat, drain the liquid and discard the leftover bones, skin, and vegetables. And now for the bread. I'm using 1 fourth of my cornbread recipe. The link will be in the description box along with a white roll that's equivalent to two slices of sandwich bread. I let these dry out for a few days before putting them in the freezer. Dry bread absorbs the chicken stock better, so don't use freshly baked bread for dressing. The bread had been in the freezer, so I brought it out the day before to defrost. Now it's time to make the dressing. In one tablespoon of butter and half a teaspoon of canola oil, saute half a small onion and half a stalk of celery. Add two cloves of garlic just before the celery is done. However, celery is surprisingly tough, so even though the finished product was fine, next time I might saute the celery for two to three minutes before adding the onion. Start by crumbling the cornbread into a large bowl. But don't worry if all the pieces aren't the same size. Although you can crumble the white bread too, it might be easier just to cut it into cubes. Then add chicken stock and evaporated milk to get the desired consistency. If you've never made dressing before or you're changing up the recipe, I recommend adding the liquid ingredients in half cup increments. After adding the liquid ingredients, this is what it should look like. In total, I added one cup of chicken stock and one cup of evaporated milk. Although it looks a bit loose at this point, most of the moisture will evaporate during the cooking process. Now is also a good time to break up some of the larger pieces of bread. Then add one to one and a half teaspoons of each spice, along with the sauteed vegetables and chicken. Taste it to see if you want to adjust the seasoning. Then add an egg. Pour into a buttered baking dish. Put the dressing into a preheated 350 degree oven. Then bake covered at 350 for 30 minutes and uncovered at 375 for 30 minutes. After letting it sit covered for 10 minutes, it was time to dig in. This was delicious, the perfect classic southern cornbread dressing. Although cornbread dressing is meant to make use of leftover scraps, it's still incredibly delicious. To change it up, you could add slightly more stock than evaporated milk, maybe one and a half cups of stock to half a cup of evaporated milk, or maybe even add some other spices like parsley or oregano. Browning the chicken in a bit of oil before making the stock would be a good change too. It would make the stock incredibly flavorful. Honestly, the only thing that could have made this better would have been adding extra butter. Sauteing the vegetables in an extra tablespoon and spreading one to two on top right after it comes out of the oven would make this unforgettable. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Also, for a written version of this and other recipes, visit my website parnaldechef.com and be sure to follow me on social media. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye!